Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, listeners and subscribers, I just wanted to let you know before we get started, as I've done before, that there is some foul language here coming up. If you uh, have some young ones around or you have virgin ears, I'm just giving you that warning ahead of time. We are going to be playing some clips with uh, a bit of foul language. I'm just putting that out there. Also, this is a bit of reiteration. I did cover a video that's uh, remotely similar to this, and uh, I just wanted to rehash this, make may maybe make it a little bit more clear. Anyway, without any further ado, let's get started. Listeners and subscribers, hope all is well. So we're going to get into this. We, I, I know I've done a previous video on this before. Uh, I touched on some of the topics about uh, transgender, trans age, and some of the implications that has. Just bear with me. Let's go ahead and uh, play this clip really fast. Then give me my fucking money back. Excuse me, sir. There's a young man in here. Watch out. Excuse me, it's ma'am. It is ma'am. I can call the police if you'd like me to. You need to settle down. You need to settle down and mind your business, okay? Ma'am, once again, ma'am. I said both of you. No, you said sir. Once again, it's ma'am. I actually said both of you guys. Right beforehand, you fucking said sir. Sir? Motherfucker, take it out. You see, did you hear Did you hear what he just said? Let's, let's see if we can go back. Motherfucker, take it out and said sir. Sir? Okay. Sir? You see how that slipped out? You see, you hear that that slip of the tongue, okay? That variation. Now, what I was getting at in one of my previous videos is that we spend a lifetime associating a certain set of characteristics with a certain set of verbiage. So, if you come in very masculine presenting or feminine or feminine presenting, uh, our minds consciously and subconsciously go to a set of characteristics. How are you doing today, sir? How are you doing today, ma'am? Can I help you with anything, madam? Can I help you with anything, my good sir? This are, these are just things that happen both consciously and unconsciously. And when you are suddenly asking us to unlearn years of conscious and subconscious associations, you're making a very unrealistic request because the issue with this is because of one slip of the tongue, an individual with the legislation that's being pushed can lose their job. Some people could even go to jail for, mis, um, pro, for using the wrong pronoun uh, against somebody if you misappropriate a pronoun. Uh, now, some people say that that's absolutely um, called for because you don't know what kind of social conditions these people go f go through when 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 you when they're mischaracterized as a gender. But what I was uh, getting at before is it's almost like a game of say the color, not the word, right? So. Uh, just like that guy, he slipped out. He said, sir. And I mean, because he's presenting these masculine, he sounds like a man. He, he looks like a man. He's just dressed in woman's clothing. That's no different than you throwing a color onto a word, right? So you see this, it says yellow. You're supposed to say green. Uh, this says orange. You're supposed to say pink. This says blue. You're supposed to say black, right? But it, it, it's hard when the first thing you look at, you want to read it, right? You want to say orange. You want to say white uh, instead of saying, you know, red or green or orange, right? Um, that is the same thing here. This is the gentleman uh, that was at the GameStop. I'm sorry, the ma'am, right? That was at that GameStop, okay? Um, this is the other gentleman I had featured in my video. I'm sorry, ma'am, right? That I had featured in my video. Do you see how hard it is? When you, when you look at this, so essentially, rather than playing say the color, not the word, we're playing a game of say the gender, not the sex, because according to gender theory, I, I believe it is, is that sex is static, you know, male and female, but gender is fluid. So you're supposed to say the gender, not the sex. So you look at this, the first thing your mind subconsciously and consciously wants to say is ma'am, man, all right? Um, but he's dressed as a woman, so you're supposed to say woman, right? So when you say this, you're supposed to say girl, or you're supposed to say woman. But he looks like a man. It's you're, you're, you're playing the same thing here. And now you have people who want to introduce legislation and policies in the work world and even in the political world that you can have different type of repercussions depending on the misappropriation of the pronoun. OK, so that slip that uh, that simple slip that this this person had here. It said, sir, sir, okay. Sir, see, he was trying to calm this person down, but what else do you expect? And that's what I was getting at in the video before. And not only that, but this gentleman here is trans age. Okay, so we have this um, trend not on on not only on the gender uh, fluidity scale. If you're gender dysphoric, you can you know uh, choose a gender that you uh, subscribe to or that both 
most fits your characteristics but now this this person is a trans age individual where he was a 52 year old man and now he wants to be a six-year-old girl and he even has adoptive parents he left his wife he left his kids and he lives his life as a six or seven year old girl now and the question becomes what happens when this six or seven year old girl uh, wants a boyfriend or girlfriend does that not open the door to pedophilia i know a lot of this is a uh, recap and reiteration but i just wanted to um to just drive that point home because this came up again the other day. Anyway, take care of yourself out there. I know this is a crazy one.